Hey guys, it's Cassie and today I'm going to be talking about nine luxury fashion brands that nobody talks about. Look, within this luxury community that we have, we always hear about the same brands, okay? Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Dior, Hermes, those are the real those are really the top ones that we're always having conversations about but what about the rest and while there are others that we do hear about you know here and there these are some that i think are particularly underrated some of which you've definitely heard of before and you're like oh my gosh yes why don't why don't i i dip back in and have a look at what they're giving us you know and others maybe I might be introducing to you today. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I write videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, I will have links below to my favourite pieces from these brands. I'm going to tell you about the brands and then I'm going to tell you about some maybe signature styles or my favourite pieces that um, you need to at least know exist, okay? Number one, Vivian Westwood. This woman is OG British fashion. She carries it on her back. She is a force to be reckoned with as a personality, but as a brand as well. So unique, very signature. All of the designs are so viv, okay? It's not like you could look at a, de a design and be like, do you wanna know what it could be? It's giving me a bit of shit, it's giving me a bit of that, you know, no. It's Vivian Westwood. She also has such a big focus on sustainability and she always has. She was known for like her punk inspired pieces and they are still punk but they're a little bit i don't know they always give me like victorian vibes or like i'm in the best way possible pirates of the caribbean like captain jack sparrow would really be turning out a look in all of these okay and while that aesthetic may not be for everyone i think that her brand really boasts a wide range of designs that are still very signature to her that can then be kind of worked with different styles depending on whatever floats your boat she has a range of bags as well very reasonably priced within the realms of luxury and again these go from very sort of like in your face tartan she loves a good tartan does Arviv, all the way to like very simple kind of pieces i think there's like the emily belt bag that's very y2k what everybody's been loving right now that kind of thing on the accessory side i know that tiktok last year or two years ago was very excited about her three strand necklace going into her logo orb Mm, this has been around okay she's been she's been killing it with these pearl necklaces specifically personally my favorite part of Vivian Westwood are the clothes especially two pieces her blazers I think especially if you have an hourglass figure or a figure that you want to look more hourglass then her tailoring is there's nothing like it she really knows how to nip in the waist the other thing that vivian westwood really has like carved a name for are her corsets no one else can touch her sodding corsets no the next brand is 16 arlington and this is a another london based brand and this is designed by a couple and their whole aesthetic is glamour okay but it's done in a way that sort of takes elements that can be quite over the top and they're done in quite a minimalist way so it never looks too much okay they love a feather they love a feather trim on wrists or on the bottom of dresses or something like this but then the dress is always very simple nice tailoring and all of that so you get a nice balance this is a clothing brand and i think that a lot of their pieces are very easy to style they have this shirt that keeps popping up what is it called a parlor shirt it's just a very fitted shirt they do it in different colors different fabrics and the collar is very pointy okay pointy mc Pointerson. It's giving me kind of like Dracula but chic, you know? I just love that little twist that makes this thing very signature to the brand. There is one dress in particular that honestly I'm just wait I'm just waiting for an excuse to buy it. It's called the Alto. There's like a corset detailing that it's draped. There's like it's interesting yet simple i don't know how they've managed to do it but i love it it's giving me more tisha adams at the met gala like i just live for this vibe so much so that has made its way onto my wish list the other thing that's made its way onto my wish list is the genoa leather puffer jacket it's belted it's in this beautiful leather you've got that signature collar again and i think a lot of the brand's designs 
are very trend proof in the way that you can buy it now and rework it for different seasons and you know for years to come the next brand is statement -y. they want you to know it okay you're walking into a club or a party and you want people to turn your heads and look paco rabanne this is a brand that has been kicking this is not a new brand in by any stretch of the imagination but i think for a while if i may be so savage as to say so a lot of people were associating paco rabanne purely with their fragrances and they have these signature dresses that are made out of chain mail or sequins like high octane high impact you walk in you're going to be snapping necks left right and center this also translates into bags they do sort of little chain mail and sequined bags also they have like a tote version which that's really been a big part of their brand but more recently their for their spring summer line it includes prints from an artist called Victor I think it's Vasily it's very optical illusion it's very sort of like colorblind test if you know what I mean but in a fun way and I really think that these pieces are definitely more trendy than if we look at something like 16 Arlington are very fun especially for spring summer I think that if you're somebody that loves a good pattern, have a look over here. The next brand is a shoe brand and mark my sodding words. You're going to be hearing a lot about them. They are one of the, these are going to be the new hot shoe brand. Dare I say, move aside Amina, Decor is in town. London designed, handmade in Florence. These shoes are again, shoes to be seen. These are statementy. They are Studio 54. She is fabulous. She is loving her life and she does not care who knows it. Okay. They don't have very many styles at the moment. I think this is their first collection, but my gosh, let me just highlight two. Number one is Belle. You want to talk about platforms. These are not for the faint of heart in the best way possible okay so you have these platforms right in different textures and colors massive chonky with an o platform and then the heel is like this sort of hourglass moment she's in the middle of that dance floor she was tearing it up okay she's in a little mini dress killing it having a great time oh my gosh everybody's looking at it. everybody's like who is that that is the reaction you're going to get with these shoes. You're going to walk past people and people are going to be like, who the, who the hell is she? So that's those ones. The other ones are the Lust Mules. You've got four colours, I believe, in this and simple mule action. But what I like here is that the detail of the front is quite interesting because there's quite a lot going on, but it's not loud to the eyes. Are you with me? Then you've got a, a mule style heel. It's quite a high heel like it's not a medium heel height or whatever and then with a little bit of an arch a little bit of a curve oh she's got curves with that heel yes she does all of these are going to pop fabulously for spring summer so i'm just going to tell you to jump on it before they also sell out because this is this is the shoe brand moving back into a clothing line alex perry australian clothing designer this man knows how to work with stretch crepe all of the designs are very i feel like he covers both ends of the spectrum here with regards to you've got sexy mini dress all the way over to midi dress avec cape for a little bit more of a would we say it's a little bit more modest it's a little bit more conservative yet still fabulous the colours for his collection coming towards the end of the year we're seeing a sort of like tie-dye but we're also seeing a, like a really dusty light pink and a really beautiful blue it's giving me euphoria with like a scatter of crystals oh my gosh of course my little magpie heart was like beating off the chain simple but the tailoring really brings it through and the outcome is just a really flattering beautiful but sexy but not too sexy look okay the next brand is one that you've definitely heard of you've definitely heard of tom ford right we don't talk about tom ford like we used to talk about tom ford mainly i think at the moment when a lot of people are talking about about him it's mainly the shoes right that little like padlock ankle heel with the metal heel there we don't really talk about two other aspects of his brand that much number one is clothing and i recently included in my best luxury items to buy right now under a thousand dollars that he does these really great kind of bottoms so you've got skirts 
trousers, shorts with silk with a little Tom Ford like waistband there that are really quite reasonably priced in the realms of his pricing and luxury pricing in general. I don't think we hear very much chatter about his bags. I think they used to be a lot more popular at one point than they are now. And there's a lot more to that collection than even I was aware. When I was sort of like deciding which brands to feature, I was doing a deep dive and I was like, hold on a second, how have I not seen half of these bags? Like they're actually really quite cool. And hello, we need to have a little bit of a spotlight on them. Speaking of bags, the next designer is Biennan Davis, New York brand founded in 1931. So they have been around for a while. Only very recently have they kind of popped up on my radar and these are very unique, very cool bags. And I think if you want a bag that you are like very rarely going to see anybody else with, this is one of those brands. Two bag styles in particular that I want to mention. The first one is the Kit Bracelet Bag. It's a bucket bag, but we have some design differences here that are gonna set it apart from the average bucket bag. Number one, that bucket bag handle is solid, hence the bracelet. It cradles very nicely on the arm or, you know, you can hold it really easily in your hand. And all of the hardware, as far as I'm aware, is plated in 22 karat gold. It's got a removable pouch. So again, you have like that little difference in the design aspect of like, you know, the closure and everything. And again, I just think it's something a little bit different. So many different designs with this bucket bag, with crystals, without crystals, in different textures and fabrics. But my favorite bag design from Bien and Davis is the, I, want, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, the Regine Minodier. And this is interesting because there's two parts to this bag. You've basically got its little holder and then you've got the Minodier itself that slots inside. And you buy this as a set and the Minodier comes in lots of different finishes. There's like a hammered gold one, there's one that's got kind of like ridges in it or, you know, and different colours as well. And you, you can also buy the sleeve of it separately so you could actually switch out the vibe. I think that this is just very interesting, something that I personally, I don't know if I've been living under a rock, I haven't seen anything like this around recently. And it's a brand that we should know. The next one is Sergio Hudson. I believe the designer is between New York and LA. If you want, this is colour blocking. This is colour blocking. With a lot of the designs, there's like a full look, look, and you can do it completely monochrome. Like we've got blazer, we've got top, we've got trouser, we've got coat all monochrome, all killing it. And again, the tailoring is, is exceptional. I mean, the great, the greatest example of the tailoring, I think, are the leather pants. Never once have I looked at a pair of leather trousers and gone, do you wanna know what? I think I might look all right in those because the tailoring just makes it look, it's gonna like be tight in the wrong places and too loose in others and everything else. These are the first leather trousers that I've seen that I was like, hold on a second. They look very like chic and just, look like they're just going to fit perfectly. There's also a jersey jumpsuit that I really like. It's also made out of a bamboo jersey, which I know that thing is gonna be mm, gloriously soft to the touch. This, again, you know I love a faux cat suit or a jumpsuit with a trench. I just think it works, okay? That with a trench and some boots, full look done. And finally, the last brand I'm going to be discussing today is David Comer, another London-based designer, but I believe he's Georgian. And again, he's been around for a while. He's been worn by a lot of celebrities, all of that business. But I think more recently, and good for him, we're seeing him a little bit more on like the consumerish radar, okay? I might be chatting bollocks, but I don't think I am. He's got some really beautiful pieces out for spring, summer now a glorious blue like with like a cut it, it's a mini dress with like cut outsides and it's got sequins in it but the sequins are like that like clear ir iridescent so it almost looks like a mermaid i love it and this collection is also full of like neons and beautiful fun very fun pieces right but i am excited about pre-fall the bodysuits there is one like catsuit jumpsuit whatever you want to call it that's got this like silver embellishment detailing snaking across it I need an excuse. I need an excuse to buy it because it is absolutely delicious. So if you want to be the it girl at the party, if you want to dress like the it girl, 
David Comer. There you go. I hope that I was able to put some of these brands back on your radar or even introduce you to some new brands today. I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. And in the words of my father... If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.